In the Days of These Kings, the Book of Daniel in Preterist Perspective by J. Rogers. Audiobook Part 16. Part 1 The Prophecy of Daniel Explained. The Five Visions of Daniel. The Five Visions of Daniel, Daniel 2, 7, 8, 9, 10 through 12. The prophecy of Daniel gave God's people comfort during three great events in the following centuries. 1. The captivity in Babylon. 2. The invasion of Jerusalem by Antiochus Epiphanes. 3. The coming of the Messiah during the occupation by the Roman Empire and the resulting destruction of Jerusalem and the Temple. The prophecy of Daniel is a series of five visions occurring over a period of about 70 years. The visions move from general to specific. They point to several key events in the future history of the Jews. The desecration of the Temple by Antiochus IV Epiphanes and its restoration from 167 to 165 BC, the exact time of the coming of the Messiah in AD 27, Nero's persecution from AD 64 to 68, and the Roman Jewish War from AD 67 to 70. The first vision is a dream of the king that is interpreted by Daniel. The second is Daniel's dream. The next three are waking visions, seen in the presence of angels, followed by an appearance of the Messiah, the Son of Man, to interpret the vision for Daniel. The timeline reads as follows. First vision, Daniel 2, 603 BC, in the second year of the reign of King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. Daniel interprets the king's dream. The dream described four kingdoms, that would rule over a vast empire. Note that the dates are from the perspective of these empires' domination over Judah, Judea. Babylonian Chaldean Empire from 605 to 539 BC. Medo-Persian Empire from 539 to 330 BC. Macedonia, Greece from 330 to 64 BC. Roman Empire from 64 BC to AD 70. Second vision, Daniel 7, 555 BC, in the first year of the reign of Belshazzar, the son of Nabonidus and successor of Nebuchadnezzar. This is Daniel's dream. The interpretation by angels is part of the dream. The four kingdoms are described in more detail and special attention is given by Daniel to the fourth kingdom, which has ten kings. Babylonian Chaldean Empire from 605 to 539 BC, Medo-Persian Empire from 539 to 330 BC, Macedonia Greece from 330 to 64 BC, Roman Empire from 64 BC to AD 70. Third vision, Daniel 8, 553 BC, in the third year of the reign of Belshazzar. This vision of Daniel is interpreted by two angels. It describes the Medo-Persian Empire, the conquest of the world by Alexander the Great, the Seleucid and Ptolemaic succession, and the reign of Antiochus IV Epiphanes in Syria. Medo-Persian Empire from 539 to 330 BC, Alexander's invasions from 330 to 323 BC, Ptolemy's rule Egypt and Seleucid's rule Syria from 323 to 167 BC, Antiochus Epiphanes from 167 to 164 BC. Fourth vision, Daniel 9, 539 BC, in the first year of Darius, king of the Medes. The angel Gabriel appears to Daniel while he was fasting and inquiring of God the meaning of Jeremiah's 77s. Later, the Messiah, the Son of Man, appears. The vision describes the 483-year time period from the seventh year of Artaxerxes 
in 457 BC, when by his commandment Ezra began the work of completing the restoration of the temple at Jerusalem, Ezra 7, to the baptism of Jesus in AD 27, when he first began to preach and execute the office of the Messiah. Medo-Persian Empire from 457 BC, Roman Empire to AD 27, 483 years. Fifth Vision, Daniel 10, 11, 12. 535 BC, in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia. In chapter 10, an angel came to Daniel while he was fasting for three weeks. The angel shows Daniel the wars and succession of kings in the Persian, Greek, and Roman empires, Daniel 11, and the time period from the coming of the Messiah to the reign of Vespasian and the Great Tribulation from AD 67 to 70, Daniel 12. Chapter 11, Medo-Persian Empire from 539 to 330 BC, Macedonia, Greece from 330 to 64 BC, Roman Empire from 64 BC to AD 70, Pompey invades Jerusalem, 63 BC, death of Julius Caesar, 44 BC. Chapter 12, The Messiah Appears, from AD 27 to 30. The Time of Trouble, from 8067 to 70.